Bronx. Speaking of the Bronx, what's it like for you to be back home uh, and then eventually playing in front of your friends and family? What's it going to be like for you? And what does it mean for you to be a Yankee? Hey, listen, it means a lot. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, I'm not going to hide the fact that I, you know, was born and raised in New York and, you know, grew up a Yankees fan. It's definitely a nice aspect of what we got going on here. But, you know, listen, there's a job to do every single day. Um, this really is an emotional, this is a physical game. Um, it's about preparation. It's about taking the emotion out of it. So as happy as I am, no doubt about it, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. Um, but listen, that, that doesn't take away from, from what we got going on. Uh, and that's winning games after nine innings for an entire season, which this team has done an incredible job of all year. And again, I'm just looking forward to adding to that winning culture and that winning mentality and hopefully make some history here in 2022 in October. And uh, just a follow up, speaking of culture, what did you learn in St. Louis that you, that you will bring to New York? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I learned how to win, I really did. Um, you know, we, we didn't, in my tenure in St. Louis, we didn't necessarily have, a, you know, a championship to speak of, but we did have a lot of playoff appearances, won a, you know, won a division title. Um, there's a lot of winning that went on. There are a lot of good players I learned from. Um, so, you know, in St. Louis, you learn how to win, man, and you learn how to do it multiple ways. And, um, you know, I think that's what it takes to win. You know, not one singular part of anyone's game is going to always be there. So finding ways to adjust and pivot is, uh, is tremendously important in competition. So. Uh, St. Louis definitely taught me how to win.